Good morning, Monday Reflection once again. I want to share a word with you and a little story that goes along with it. Uh, the word is contingent. It's a philosophical word that we use a lot that means that our lives are absolutely dependent on God's holding us in existence all the time. The word comes from a Latin word that means to touch us on all sides. In a sense, you and I are being touched on all sides by God every moment. Every, every moment is a gift. Every moment is being held in existence by our God. Let me tell you the story that goes with that and then a little reading from Psalm 104 that, that reminds me of that every time I read it. Early in my priesthood days, I had a chance to work with a senior priest at that time who is probably as old as I am now, uh, Father Emil Keyes. Uh, Father Keyes was the pastor at St. Mary's in Eugene. I was there for three years, um, a year and a half with him. After a year and a half, he had a, a stroke which forced him to retire. Um, and he did quite a recovery from the stroke, but the first time he came back after the stroke, and he was out for I don't know, maybe four months or something with pretty major recovery from this stroke, the, the first words that he was sharing with us around the, the dining room table, there were a couple of retired Jesuits and myself and him, he was just saying that he's learned more personally than ever before how much he's a contingent being how dependent he is on God, how much his life is being held by God always, how he's not in charge of his own life. Um, and he said that message just came through to him in a way because of the stroke that had never happened before uh, in a powerful way. I think all of us tend to somehow deny or we just don't want to live with that kind of a reality all the time because it's scary to realize how fragile and how vulnerable our lives are, and ultimately how dependent we are on God. Um, as a priest, I'm reminded rather often of how delicate life is when I'm dealing with a family that's had a sudden loss of a loved one. The fact is our lives are not our own. Uh, we are part of God's plan, and much of that plan is very mysterious for us. So we are contingent beings, and thankfully we have a God who knows us, who loves us, who cares for us, who touches us literally on all sides, who embraces us with the Holy Spirit every moment. So Psalm 104 is a psalm of creation. I did a different psalm of creation, 148, a couple of weeks back. This one describes so many different parts of God's creation. And then it culminates near the end of a fairly long psalm with these words. Listen to this. All of these look to you, God, to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your hand, they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. You and I and all of God's creation are being surrounded and held by God's care this very moment and every moment of our lives. We don't know what's going to happen next, but what we can take great assurance in is that no matter what happens, nothing can separate us from God. Our God will be with us. He cares for us. He holds us in existence and wants us to be with Him for all eternity. So without that, with that thought, let's enter into this Monday morning with confidence, with joy, with expectation. God bless you.